Hi, this is Shivam. Welcome to my life page. Uh, today we'll be talking about marine engineering. But first, I would like to tell you about myself. I did my engineering from uh, Calcutta, uh, Marine Engineering and Research Institute. Before that, I did my schooling from Dehradun, uh, Saint Joseph Academy. So around in somewhere in around class tenth or eleventh, I decided that I'll be joining Merchant Navy. Uh, since I have a lot of friends whose family members are into Merchant Navy, so always excited me the fact of sailing around the world. So in order to do that, I did. Uh, I took up science uh, because it is important to take science. You need to have at least sixty percent in PCM to go for uh, Merchant Navy. So I uh, appeared for the IIT exam, the IIT JE. So these colleges, four of them were under the IIT JE, the college which is in Mumbai, T S Chakya. That is for the deck side, and the Marine Engineering College is in Calcutta. That is Marine Engineering and Research Institute. Then after getting selected, the placements and all started. We started studying. We started aspiring for companies, deciding on which company to sit for. So finally, in fourth year, we all got selected, and uh, it was the seventh semester when I did my first sailing on uh, a trainee vessel, which has got somewhere around 150 cadets from all nationalities, which our company caters to. So that was an amazing experience. I stayed there for a month. After that, I was directly transferred to a commercial vessel. That was M V N World Celebration, a huge container vessel of 300 meters. I joined there as a junior engineer or an assistant engineer, as you would call. Then, after completing my five to six months period of contract, I left and I went for my class for examinations. So, in class for examinations, are the first step of you getting from a cadetship to a full watchkeeping engineer because that stage you have to pass and the government approves that it comes under the dg shipping and dg shipping is authorized by the ministry of shipping which is authorized by imo so it comes from there so i appeared i cleared my exam then i was promoted to trainee third engineer then i did this part of sailing i did some one contract as trainee third then another two contracts i did as third engineer i was promoted then after that i completed my sea time for first engineer's exam which is called class 2 So last year itself, I cleared these class two exams, and I joined again as third engineer after class two because promotions. It is a little difficult. You need to have certain amount of experience to get promotion in multinational companies. I'd like to tell you about marine engineering. Uh, before that, you'll have to come to merchant navy or any of the vessels, commercial vessels or uh, non-commercial vessels which are sailing, not under the armed forces, but the other part of it. So it is basically divided into two halves. That is, one is the deck department and the engine department. So I am I belong to the engine department, where there are somewhere around on a normal commercial vessel like a container ship or a car carrier or a bulk carrier or a tanker. There are some four to five engineers, including the chief engineer, first engineer, second engineer, third engineer, and a junior engineer. There are trainee third engineers or additional engineers on some of the ranks, depending on the company. So we as engineers, we have to handle each and everything that is technical on board, from engines to the main engine, from the generators, from turbo generators, then your purifiers, your boilers, your uh, refrig refrigeration plant, your air conditioning, lighting systems, even the sewage treatment plant, for instance. Anything that is technical it comes under the engineers. So there is a small group of some ten, twelve people in the engine department. within a set team we decide on plant maintenance system in working on machineries how to repair them or if because of it has gone bad then repairing it or if not gone bad then a normal maintenance which comes which is under the plant maintenance system so basically anything and everything that is technical on board comes under engineers now let's talk about the education which is required for becoming a marine engineer See if you are handling anything technical on board, then the background has to be technical, which is science. 